Can you survive this five minutes? First exercise. Let's begin with the first exercise. Stand in a narrow stance with your arms at your sides. Now step with your left leg to the side and gently tap the floor. At the same time, raise both arms overhead and clap your hands together when they reach the end position. Step back in and lower your arms to return to the starting position. Next, repeat the movement, stepping to the side with your right leg. Alternate legs. This exercise works your whole body, your shoulders, chest, legs, glutes, and calves. It'll increase your heart rate and improve your endurance. The faster you go, the more challenging the exercise is. 10 seconds left. Next exercise. For the following exercise, stand a hip distance apart and raise your arms at shoulder level. Turn your palms inward. Now lift your left knee and clap under it. Step down and repeat with your right leg. Alternate legs. This exercise targets your chest, shoulders, and hip flexors and thighs. The higher you lift your knee, the more challenging it is. Make sure to maintain an upright posture without leaning backwards or arching your back. Bring your arms to shoulder level for each repetition. Perform at a comfortable pace. Rest. Next exercise. Stand in a narrow stance with your arms raised at your sides at shoulder level, palms facing down. This is your starting position. Now make small circles with your arms and march in place, lifting one knee at a time to hip level. This exercise works your shoulder and upper chest as well as your hip flexors, thighs and calves. Keep your elbows extended Halfway and shoulders there. engaged. The faster you perform the circles, the more you will feel the burn in your muscles. Try to lift the knee as high as possible while maintaining an upright posture. Breathe normally throughout the exercise. Next exercise. For the next exercise, stand shoulder width apart with your arms raised in front of your chest at shoulder level, palms facing down. Now curl your left knee, bring your heel to your buttocks, and at the same time, row with both arms back, pushing your elbows behind your back. Return to the starting position and repeat, curling your right knee. Repeat the movement, alternating legs. This great exercise works your arms, upper back, core, hamstrings, and front thighs. Make sure to squeeze your shoulder blades as you row for maximal muscle activation. For the last exercise, stand straight with your legs close together and arms in front of your chest with elbows bent. Bring your hands together. Now step with your left leg to the side, performing a wider step and lower to a squat, pushing your knees out. Stand up and bring your right leg to the left. Next, repeat stepping with your right leg to the side first, lowering to a squat, and then getting the left leg next to the right as you stand up. This is an excellent lower body movement that targets your glutes and thighs. The lower you go, the more burn you feel in your muscles. Make sure to keep your upper body upright as you lower to the squat. Workout complete. You have earned my respect for now.